Hello everyone, how you doing? Um, hope you like my new Man City top. Uh, I got that for Father's Day as well. Um, tonight's video is a uh, <coughs> bit of exercise to do uh, consistently after a stent, or basically after your stent and your heart attack. And uh, I know I've done a video before about exercises, but I just thought I'd do what I regard as the best exercises to do. <coughs> Excuse me. Every time I go to make a video, I have that horse like cough. Uh, what can I do? What can I say? But anyway, the best exercise to do, uh, you get home after the stent. And uh, trust me, if you're watching this and you're about to have a stent or, uh, you know, you have the stent operation coming up and you're worrying about it, don't. Don't worry about it at all. It's actually easier than uh, getting a film. I have done a video about the actual stent operation. So if you go down and look through my videos, you'll actually find it. But you've got the stent and you've arrived home and you're glad to be home, you're glad to be alive, just like I was, you know. I'm always glad to be alive because my life is just a bunch of laughs and jokes and fun, you know. But uh, you're home and uh, you want to know what to do, you know. Well, basically the hospital will give you a list of uh, what to do, you know, sort of Back in the old days, in the 70s, when you had a heart attack, you sort of came back and you lay in bed for about a month. But that's that, that was actually the wrong information. Probably killed a load of people, you know. Not that that's funny, so I don't know why I'm laughing. I'll put on my stern face when I say that. But nowadays, they recommend that you exercise as soon as possible. So you have a bit of a rest. And then when you feed up to it, you know, go out for a small walk. Take a friend with you, you know. I was lucky in the fact that um, my daughter used to go out. Uh, for the walks I used to sort of pick a route and sort of stuck that route and uh, it was just the right distance for you to make it and uh, I don't know if you've got a smart watch or not you should uh, get yourself a smart watch you know it's actually a smart thing to do <laughs> get that it's actually a smart thing to do because uh, it gives you your heart rate uh, my heart rate at the moment is uh, it's actually 99 but it's 99 because uh my camera was up the stairs and I ran up the stairs to get the camera. Uh, so that's what's actually picked the heart rate up. So there's no worries there. Uh, that's what happened. But the best exercise, I mean, brisk walking is very good. I mean, there's different types of uh, exercise. There's sort of, you know, keep fit exercise. There's the cardio exercise. Um, if you actually have the Fitbit, um, I must actually do a program in the Fitbit. The Fitbit every day will show you uh, the different types of exercise you've done you know ordinary like walking exercise or the cardio exercise where you know it, it pushes your heart rate above 100 and you know you're really working the heart but you don't want to do that in the first stages after the stent you want to leave that into a gradual process and um, you know basically you know ease yourself into it and uh, my, this is my advice right I'm going to give you my advice instead of waffling about Whenever you get home from the stent, uh, give yourself a week before you do anything. You'll be getting word from the hospital after about four to six weeks for to go to rehab, which then you'll be able to pick an exercise of your own because you'll be doing all their stuff. Um, I would go for a walk, right? Pick a nice wee route, not too far. And as I say, be smart, get a smart watch. Keep an eye on your heart rate. Uh, dangerous heart rate would be above 130. Uh, if you are, I mean, it's not dangerous enough to kill you, but if you're sort of walking and you're going up a hill or something, it's 130, stop and have a wee rest. You know, there's nothing to say you have to keep walking. You can stop and have a rest. You know, it's you that's going out for the walk, so take your time. And once you've done a bit of walking after a couple of weeks, um, then ask your doctor, um, does he think it's okay if you maybe go to the gym? And uh, in the UK, you actually, you're given a gym membership for three months for free. So, you know, the doctors actually encourage you having an exercise. So I would go for that. Um, my favorite exercise for the cardio was swimming. Swimming is great for cardio. Really, really builds that heart muscle up. And uh, you start off swimming. I hadn't swam in, in quite a few years, but I started swimming again. And I used to sort of swim that way because I was a scared of doing the lengths after the heart attack. You know, I was a scared of maybe having a heart attack the, the deep end of the pool and going down and nobody being there to rescue me but I'd built my confidence up and then I started to get the swimming lengths again and I never felt better in the whole of my life 
and uh, the reason I felt better was not just for the physical side of it the mental you know after you have a heart attack you recover physically but you've got to recover mentally as well not a lot of people know that that's why mental health is so important these days a lot of people laugh at it um but you know it is very very important especially after a big event like a heart attack and getting the stent you know because it is a big event you know another thing that is uh, good for um if you're in the house and you're watching a movie at night or something you can actually buy for yourself and it's very very good for strengthening your heart uh i was told by this guy in a gymnasium i joined the gym and he says here's the best bit of equipment in the gym and i thought what, what's this what what and it turned out to be the rowing machine and i went on the rowing machine and the, the rowing machine is actually it's great you know whenever you're pulling the rowing machine everything's you know you may not realize about row machine but everything goes in the action you know your shoulders if you've got a sore back and see the way my shoulders are going now you can see that the shoulders are stretching back in the back so you're actually exercising your back you know you're bending forward with the weight of the exercise the sorry the row machine it's getting your belly as well but it's not only that it's pulling sort of there and it's actually one of the best exercises for strengthening the heart now that is an important thing in the cardio the main thing in the cardio is to strengthen your heart strengthening your heart will be a big protection if you ever have a second heart attack and once you have one heart attack you know if you, i was 53 when i had mine so i'm guessing that down the road there's every chance that i'll have another heart attack now one thing i want to make sure when i have that other heart attack is i'm not going to be obese and i'm going to have a strong heart muscle having a strong heart muscle means that if you have a heart attack you know you're you're going to be able to sort of you know if you've read my other videos about taking an aspirin and stuff like that the heart muscle will protect you as well you've got to have all the protection there to avoid dying basically you know because that's what you've got to do you know so roll machine i bought a roll machine in argus i don't know if you're in america or india uh, i know a lot of those viewers in india but there must be shops in india where you can buy an exercise bike or not an exercise, I keep saying exercise bike, rowing machine. Uh, you can let me know in the comments if you're from India, uh, what sort of price is a rowing machine in India. Uh, if you're living in India, have you ever used a rowing machine in your home? Because you buy the wee small rowing machine here and you can actually just, you know, t tilt your TV around, watch a movie and row for about 25 minutes at the same time and do that every day, you know. Uh, another good exercise believe it or not and this is one that astronauts use before they go away into space and you probably won't believe this but it's a mini trampoline a mini trampoline you know whenever you're doing the jumping up and down you know you do the jumping up and down and do this you know different crisscross with your legs and you know all different exercises uh, running up and down and treading on the uh, mini trampoline that is another brilliant exercise for strengthening all your muscles the muscles in your legs the muscles in your stomach and the heart muscle i actually bought a book on both uh, exercising on the uh, row machine and exercising on the mini trampoline both of which i have in my room right now they're over in the corner and both of which i use every day mini trampoline is excellent cardio absolutely excellent cardio and if you read you know get your, if you're gonna buy them get yourself a wee book on them and you will in fact even go to youtube after you've finished watching me and google the benefits of mini trampoline benefits of row machine and you will be stunned by how much both of those exercises will protect your heart and that's what you need you know once you've had your stent fitted the stent you know the stent will let the blood flow through that you recovered you know but you've got to think ahead you know if you've had a stent or a heart attack age 53 you don't want to be thinking oh that's me i'm okay now you, you know you will have a heart attack in the future and you might not be so lucky you know so that's why i will protect myself by doing certain exercises after you get out of the hospital after having this dent start off with slow exercises and then get into both sort of brisk walking you know or what i would call ordinary exercise and then the cardio exercise you know go for a brisk walk even if you're in work or if you don't work or if you're retired if you, maybe if you have a dog take a dog a walk or if you're in work go out for a walk at lunchtime you know uh, you can join the gym you join the gym you've got all the machines there 
uh, you can go for a swim. I like to go for a swim a couple of times a week. Swimming's great. It's see for mental clarity. You can't beat swimming. Swimming is fantastic. It really is. One of the best exercises after a stint. And uh, as I say, you know, if you're at home and you have a spare room, or even like myself, I have a big living room, uh, get the rowing machine out. And if you're watching a film, you know, just start rowing. Row away, you know. And you're building your muscles up. If you're a bit overweight, you're losing weight at the same time. Now, you may not believe this. I've watched many of the video uh, myself on YouTube. Obesity, you know, you get rid of the weight and get yourself down to the right BMI. Uh, well, that's basically the right weight. You know, we all know that. But uh, they call it BMI. But if you get your BMI to be down perfectly, you can reduce your chances of a heart attack down to 50%. Um, there's also food that is good for your heart as well and I'm going to do a video of it in my next video which will probably be Monday or Tuesday. Uh, I'm just going to have a quiet weekend uh, after I make this video and watch some of the um, the Euros, the football. don't know if you support football or whatever you do but always try and do something, you know, get a hobby into your life as well uh, because you need something up there, you know, keep that bad boy nice and peaceful too because if you're depressed or anything like that or, or you know you're having stress or anything like that you know stress affects the heart as well you know and you've got to think of your heart all the time but my main aim now is to get you up your backsides and out exercising and those are my main exercises for you that's my four and they're the four that I do brisk walking which is good for you know blood flow circulation and all that there but to strengthen your heart and protect you against the second heart attack uh, you have to go for swimming swimming is good for the cardio and the mind absolutely and you will lose weight and you'll probably make friends as well i did you know and for your home yeah, mini trampoline mini trampoline doesn't even cost much in the uk mini trampoline is only about 20 pound uh, you bring it home in the box and uh, you open the box, you take it out, it's uh, just the round circle mini trampoline, you just screw the legs on and you're ready to go in about, oh god, what, 10 minutes at the most? And that's you, just bouncing up and down. You don't just bounce on up and down, there's uh, certain exercises that are good, but you'll find them on YouTube. The other one is, as I say, the rowing machine. Rowing machine, it wasn't expensive as well, it's around about £100. You know, if you've got some money, you can go for the more expensive ones where you can sort of plug it into the TV and have sort of competitors that you're competing against people and stuff like that. But I didn't have the money for that. And I'm quite happy to just watch a movie and row and know that I'm strengthening my muscle. So it's all about strengthening your heart muscle and uh, improving your circulation. And if you stick to those four exercises, then that, my friends, that'll keep you going for another way. And if you're watching my videos in India, I hope you are all keeping well. I know the Indian uh, variant is still floating about. So I hope you're all safe in India. I hope you're all safe in Pakistan and Malaysia. I know there's people watch me there. People watch me in America. And oh, I'd love to visit America. So if you've got a spare room, give me an invite. And uh, people in the UK, there's not many in the UK. The, the figures and percentages of the people that watch me in the UK... I don't know, they mustn't like me there, or maybe it's because I'm wearing a Man City top. Who knows? Who cares? Who cares? I don't care. You know, I just like to sort of make a video every night. Hope that it helps someone, and uh, I like to hear other people leave comments, you know. And as I say, if, you're, um, if you've got a YouTube uh, subscription, or membership, or whatever you want to call it, um, do subscribe. Uh, somebody subscribed last week, and then unsubscribed. Who does that? I mean, they build my hopes up. You know, I get a, I get, I get a new subscriber and then they change their mind and they unsubscribe. Like, seriously? Do you know how bad that is for my, for my heart? You know, I, I'm all sort of excited that I've got a new subscriber and then they unsubscribe. And, oh, it just... Uh, it's like losing a friend, you know? But anyway, if you've got a YouTube... Uh, membership or whatever the hell it is account account if you've got a youtube account subscribe to my channel and uh, give me a like you know me old saying 
I like a like. I like a like. Uh, hit the wee bell there uh, so that your phone will sort of give like a wee ding whenever I've made another video and uh, then you can watch me yet again you know uh, I also have about another I think I'm coming up to about 80 videos now and as I say <coughs> I only make the videos in the hope that uh, someone watching maybe's just had a heart attack or had a stent worried about oh Jesus I might not live long and so on I have a heart attack at 53 I'm now 67 I know I know I know uh, I only look about 57 everybody says that you know so why am I living in my own? It's a bit strange. Oh well, who cares? I have peace in my own, you know? I can make my videos in peace and it's great. I can watch whatever movies I want. But anyway, that's besides the point. Um, do give me a like. As I say, I like a like. And uh, watch some of my older videos. Some of my older videos have only got about 20 odd views. Whereas my two best ones are coming up to 2000. And there's nothing worse than sort of scrolling down your videos. And th there's videos there, and they're actually some of them are better than the two good ones. And they've only got like 25 views. So come on, guys, you know, watch some of my other videos. Give me a break here. You know, I'm trying to help you and give you advice about, you know, protecting yourselves against another heart attack. And 21 views? Seriously, guys. Seriously? Anyway. Have a good weekend. Uh, do leave some comments. I love hearing from you guys. I really do. Uh, it does. It helps to hear other people's experiences and how they're doing. Uh, what did you do after you had your heart attack? Um, have you had many years? Have you had a heart attack? Uh, do you get periods of depression? Uh, have you sort of caved in, started drinking, put on a bit of weight? Uh, you know, there's so much to discuss and. Uh, I'd like to think, you know, you can, you can talk to me or talk to each other down there, you know, there's, there's plenty of room to tell each other what you've done and, you know, where you're from and introduce yourself. So I want to know who's watching me and, you know, that's all I can ask. And um, by the way, I've, I've meant to say, if you've been watching my videos regularly and you see me getting up to sort of turn off and I actually hold that arm with this hand, it's because I dislocated my shoulder a year ago and uh, I had a badly torn rotator cuff and I can't lift my arm any higher than that there and when I do it's sort of quite sore but it could have been worse my friends I fell down the drive uh, putting my bin out tumbled down the drive and missed the underneath of my car by about that so I could have actually cut my neck or ended up sort of in a wheelchair but what can I say? God has blessed me. Thank you, my friends. Have a good weekend. Uh, do watch my other videos, please. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. And exercise. Don't be getting fat.